This is a quick demo of how to achieve layout and tab order using the Trinidad HTML component. So first let's look at our uh, initial page. This page has a panel form layout with a bunch of fields inside it. And when you run this page, the behavior that you'll see is that when you're tabbing through the fields, you're going down. Okay, so I'm pressing the tab on my keyboard. All right, so that's okay. Um, one thing that some time people want to do is they actually want to create three rows and three columns in the layout, okay, which gives them this type of layout for the page. And it's perfectly fine to do it with um, the ADF form. The one thing that you see though is that when you're now tabbing through the ta through the columns, you're actually still going down inside each one of the columns, right? So down here, down here. And that might not be what you're aiming to get. You might actually want to tab from here to here to here, and then here, here, here. So one solution for this is to actually have multiple form layout. Each one has one row and then you can do this and this is explained in another blog that I have. I'm going to show you another approach using the Trinidad HTML component. So the first thing we're going to do is actually going to remove the panel form layout tag from here and from here. Then we're going to verify in our project properties that in the tag libraries, JSP tag libraries, we have the Trinidad HTML component. Okay. And then we're going to choose the Trinidad HTML component here from um, the component palette and going to bring it into our page. Right. And I'm actually going to do the next part of the work directly in the structure editor. I'm going to insert three rows into the table layout. And inside each one of those, you can insert a self format. So I'm actually going to insert three of those inside each one of the table uh, of the table rows. And again, you can probably do this from the code editor if you prefer to. Okay. Just know that if you do a lot of copy paste, you might actually run into issues with um, the ID that is assigned for each one of those components. So you'll need to change those that's easily solvable. So here's your basic page layout and you can see it's uh, pretty much the same layout that you would do in a normal HTML page. And then you can start arranging your fields inside your page. Okay. So um, whatever order you need them to be in, doesn't really matter in our case. Let's do this though. We'll take the output text in here. Put one more field here one more field here. So that's the end result. You have the table, rows, columns, and inside each column you have a single uh, field. Right? And that's the layout as it is shown in the design time. Let's refresh our browser. And that's the layout that you get. And now again, if you tab, you're actually going in a horizontal way from one row to the other. And that's probably what you expected to get. Right? A few other tricks to show you. Um, what if you actually didn't have this output text here? Okay, so let's assume actually instead of doing, yeah, we'll do it with the output text. I can actually remove this column. Okay, save and I'll show you that what happens now is that in the second row you'll have only two fields and they're one next to the other. Right? The tabbing still works perfectly fine. What if you wanted this field to actually be aligned with those columns? Okay. Um, the easiest way to do it is to go to the first cell and basically specify a column span of two. So again, you're basically working with something that emulates a um, table in an HTML layout. So that would allow you to basically have that space in there. The other thing you can do because you're working here is you can also go, for example, to the table layout and specify a width property. So for example, say 100%. Okay. So if previously the page looked like this, if we now refresh the page, sorry, we didn't save here, save here, go back here, do a refresh. Now the table spans our full page width. We have the space in here and the column are aligned and the tabbing order works exactly as we would have expected it to work. 